Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about pagers. In particular, I'm going to show you less. Uh, there are a couple other pagers, like more and most. Um, they're extremely creatively named. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of the basics and where you might see some pagers. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so first off, let's talk about what a pager is. A pager is a piece of software that allows you to view output in pages. Or at least that's what their man pages say. Um, but the, the idea is uh, you have a lot of output and you want to view it on one screen without having it take up your entire terminal buffer. So if you know if something outputs a whole bunch of text, it might be useful to you know view just that one particular line. Um, one case where uh, or one example where a pager gets invoked automatically is when you're working with Git. So if you do Git log, for instance, you'll notice that you're dropped into this view. And it only takes up one terminal screen, so there's no extra terminal screens here. If I, you know, press the arrow keys, I can kind of move around here and page through things. Um, but this is this is a, a specialized pager. And when you're inside of a pager, uh, there's a bunch of different commands. The only one that I have actually committed to memory that I think is the most useful is the search command. So if you do, if you type the slash character. You can see the bottom has changed to a slash down here. You can now type a regular expression. So let's say I was looking for, I don't know, Windows related changes. I might press type Windows and press enter, and it will highlight all of the cases where the word Windows is in there. Um, from this screen, you can type N, and that will take you to the next match. So if we do N, you see it jumps to that one. We can jump down here. If you want to go to the previous match, you can do Shift N. Um, and that's how you can bump around or bounce around in a pager. That's most of what I use pagers for. You can also jump to the very beginning or the very, very end by pressing the home key, which jumps to the beginning, and the end key, which jumps to the very end, so you can see. Initial commit here was 2014. Uh, that's kind of the basics of using a pager. Uh, another case where you might want to adjust how your pager works is if you're working with colored output. So. This, uh, this example here doesn't actually have all that much output, although we can make it have a lot more output. Let's just break this function. Uh, uh, raise type error hi. That is from the previous video. So you can see there's a lot of output here. So we might want to open this up in a pager uh, so that we can look at all of the output individually. So you can see we can we can scroll through it here and maybe we can look for uh, you know type error. And we can find all the cases where that was raised and such. But you'll notice the, the output here is not colored. Um, but it was actually colored on our terminal. We can tell less uh, to force colors. There's actually two things going on here. One is that PyTest is not outputting colors because less is not a terminal. And then the second thing is less is not interpreting color sequences. So we got to kind of do two things to force colors into less. First is, I think it's colors equals yes for PyTest. Uh, color equals yes, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then you get these kind of weird escape things here. And this is because uh, less by default doesn't interpret color escapes. And so it just kind of prints those out verbatim to the screen. So that, you know, it's not, not what we want. Uh, but there is a dash capital R, which turns less into a raw color escapes mode. Uh, and that way you can preserve colors in less and kind of get your full color view here. But anyway, that's kind of the basics of less. Uh, slash to search n and shift n to do next and previous, and dash capital R to preserve color escapes. Um, oh, and Q to quit, of course. <laughs> That's very important. Q, Q to quit. Uh, I think some pagers also let you do control C, but not all of them. Um, so I don't, yeah, less does not do control C, but some of them do. Um, but Q, Q to quit, and you just type Q. You don't have to do colon Q. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.